G'day everyone, I'm artist Wayne Dowson and welcome to another DR650 adventure. This is the third and final video on our Christmas adventure ride and after Dean, Jackie and I left the Blowering Dam, which was an hour's ride from Tumut, we headed towards Taubingo. It's a small town at the edge of the snowy mountains, but we didn't take the right hand turn which leads you to Taubingo. We turned left onto a secret dirt trail that nobody knows about, except for a couple of hundred happy campers who were camped beside the river. But that's not our scene, baby. We like it a little quieter than that, so we rode further on to look for the perfect camping site. And that's when we met the lovely Jane. She'd set up her tent and claimed her camping spot but she was going to spend the night in town. So she said, why don't you stay the night here? And even gave us the use of her tent. What a great sort, I mean sport she was. So there was nothing left to do but swim in the cool river. And just remember this is Christmas time. Each day was about 30 to 35 degrees. Pitch our tent, have a good feed, and do what I love doing best making a big fire that would last all night. The next morning, Dean was heading home. See you, Dean. And Jackie and I were once again riding on our own. Once we packed up our camp, we headed back to Tumut to refuel and have a good hearty breakfast before heading back through that beautiful countryside that winds its way back to Wee Jasper. Winding our way up through the beautiful mountains towards Yass. Once we got to Yas, we refuelled and then continued on the back way through some beautiful countryside that ran along the railway and it took us to the towns of Gerawa, Dalton, Gunning and then because it was getting late and also because we were trying to outrun a big storm we thought we'd fast track. Took a turn off after Gunning and continued our journey on the Hume Highway until we arrived at Goulburn. And we decided to do some five-star camping at the Great Western Hotel. Next morning, after a well-deserved sleep-in, we headed into town and had breakfast at the Paragon Cafe. And it was another big ride through some beautiful countryside on our way to Oberon. Once we left Oberon, the storm we were trying to outrun the day before actually caught up to us. I don't know how that works, but I'll tell you what, we were in the thick of it. It absolutely teamed down. It was a huge lightning storm, but thankfully it left as quickly as it hit. And by the time it started to dry out, we were almost at our destination, at the Canangra Boyd National Park. A beautiful little spot, and we were really lucky to get a fantastic camping spot. Nice, quiet and secluded. With some absolutely gorgeous views only 7 k's further down the trail. Next day we rode all the way home with some swims along the way because it was bloody hot. All in all we'd travelled over 1700 kilometres over 6 days through some absolutely awesome countryside. Jackie on her little Yamaha TTR250 and me on the mighty Suzuki DR650. Our next big trip will be toward the end of the year, location Tasmania. And we can't wait to share it with you all. I'm artist Wayne Dowson, thanks for watching everyone. <laughs>